Deep Purple's 25th anniversary celebration could not live up to fans' expectations. On November 9, 1993, inside the NEC Arena in Birmingham, one of Heavy Metal's progenitors met his demise. Vivid memories of what transpired that night began as the band played Highway Star without Blackmore in sight. Fans began to worry as leader Ian Gillen and Blackmore's feud became more public, but sighs of relief were audible when he joined halfway through the song in an explosive solo, albeit appearing visibly irritated. Blackmore's passive-aggressive behavior erupted when a cameraman approached too near for comfort for a shot and was met with a splash of water in the face. After four gigs, Blackmore announced that he could no longer perform. Years after Blackmore's onstage fury and eventual resignation, fans were left wondering how the band felt at the time. Critics have noted that the band's approach mellowed after Blackmore's departure, and that they were ghosts of the past with only nostalgia value. All of Blackmore's tension, notoriety, and volatility may be attributed to Deep Purple's rock claim to fame. Deep Purple, once an established rock legend, faded into obscurity, but there is still hope for the band. According to reports, Gillen expressed relief. If Richie had stayed in the band, it would have been the end of Deep Purple. We were playing in small halls, and they weren't even full. They were half empty, and Richie was walking off stage every night. The band appreciated the fact that Deep Purple had survived to celebrate its 50th anniversary and became increasingly joyful in the absence of the threat. It appears that everyone concerned agrees that there should be no reunion, which is evidence that not everything that is bad needs to be fixed. On the other hand, in an interview with New Jersey Stage, Richie Blackmore detailed his decision to leave Deep Purple in the 90s and pursue the more traditional folk rock project Blackmore's Night explaining that he had grown tired of the rigors of playing in a world-famous hard rock band. The stress was from the traveling to do with rock and roll, the continual trying to come up with different augmentations of heavy riffs, which can be boring. I was getting stale playing the same type of music, heavy rock for the sake of playing heavy rock, he said.